So, how many of you have ever watched someone who was, for a while, was very consistently the same? And then, all of a sudden, something about them just radically changed? Like, they stopped acting that way, or they started acting out more, or something like that? Yeah? I, I feel like most of us have had that kind of happen in our lives. You know, people try to be, we want to think everyone's exactly the same as they are, but well, it's kind of like change is inevitable, right? Well, the quote I have here is from Huxley. It says, the only completely consistent people are the dead. And I actually do think this is true, and actually for a few reasons. The ones I will be covering specifically are how people change in friendships, for both good and bad, and how they and how families can change for both good and bad, to kind of show this point of how consistencies change. So first, I'd like to talk. I, as I said, I'd like to talk about friends. Now, I actually have a couple stories that kind of fit in this topic. Um, about uh, it was about two to three years ago. I had this really good friend who. We did a bunch of shows together. We we met, like we had met during a show actually, and we had done stuff together. We had done musicals together. We had sung duets together. It was, it was a really good time. It was really fun, and we really enjoyed it. But then, over time, he started pushing my other friends away. He started pushing other people away. He started acting kind of like a jerk, and. And then he really hurt my best friend very badly. So that was when I officially realized I had to break that off. Like it was, I couldn't be that guy, I couldn't be that guy's friend anymore. Now, that is one of those versions where someone changes and is not consistent and becomes worse. But there are times where people can change and become better. I had another friend who, this was way back in junior high, when we became, we had been friends since preschool, and he was always very shy, very, very quiet, never really wanted to go out and do anything, never wanted to talk. Heck, if he even said an ASS, he would freak out and like hide his head. <laughs> and so, when he got into high school, like me and a few other people started taking him to do stuff, and he finally kind of found and enjoyment and everything. Kind of started to have some fun, started to go out and do things and enjoy himself. And now he's a, he's you know out there doing stuff. He's very talkative now. He's meeting people. And it's just, it's really good to see him like that. And it makes me happy that I can help with that. Now, that's all great for friends, but what about family? Well, when the changes that can happen in family, it can be the same change, but it can be good and bad. When you get older, let's say high school, high school era, a lot of you probably, you know, didn't want your parents helping you with stuff anymore, kind of wanted to be your own person. Now, sometimes that can be bad and people tend to go over the top in high school and tend to cause problems for themselves where things happen. Then there's the other side of that, which actually is good. Because everyone should rebel a little bit to give themselves that ability to want to go work on their own and not just rely on their parents for the rest of their lives. Because if we didn't change, it would, we'd all stay the same and we'd all be asking our parents for help on our college homework, as it were. So in conclusion, I've talked about how, how people are, not inc are inconsistent throughout their lives, and that that's actually can be okay or it can be bad, but for the most part, it's just change as it is change. So I, so I feel that change is inevitable and change is necessary to keep things moving, and I hope I've shown you guys that today. Thank you.
All right, Brian, there's several things that you do pretty well. Uh, you use your time. I thought that was nice. I didn't see any obvious anxiety issues. Um, you, you, your facial expressions, I think, are uh, consistent with the subject that you're talking about for the most part. Um, there are some things that I see being a little problematic, not huge issues, but things that you definitely want to work on. Your attention device, I think this rhetorical question about the kind of uh, vague, abstract, hypothetical person is a little hard for people to relate to. I think it, you might have been better off using one of your examples as an attention device and then, you know, like you use your negative friend as the attention device and then when you get to that first point say, you know, but uh, the changes aren't always negative, sometimes they're positive too and let me talk about that there. And then, and then it just feels, because that opening just seemed awkward, it doesn't, it doesn't quite work. Uh, but your point of view is very clear and you expressed it effectively, I like that. Also you had a preview, I thought that was pretty solid. The supporting material is fine, you've got enough detail there to make your point. Sometimes I think you could add a little bit more to make it more interesting. Um, you know, maybe you feel like you're protecting your friends or your former friends. Uh, you don't want to embarrass them, but uh, let's face it, uh, they're not here and we could probably enjoy the experience hearing about them. So, you know, a little more detail to make it a little bit more intriguing. Nothing was bad, I just thought it could be a little bit more involving and exciting there. Uh, presentation issues, your voice is fine, you're projecting reasonably well. Pacing, I felt, was a little bit slow at times, and so I think you need to pick it up a little bit. Gestures, you have a tendency to hold your own hand. All right, well, you're up there, so that, that looks a little bit awkward. And um, your eye contact with the audience, you do look at the audience pretty regularly, but I never got the feeling that you're engaging with the audience. It's, it's like you're, you're scanning them, and you, know, you see that they're there, and you are acknowledging their presence, but it's not like you stopped and are making a connection with each person as you're talking and you know, really getting your point across. And it feels sort of like you're performing instead of speaking to us. So that's, it's a little bit different. All right, thank you.